The regulation of enzymatic reactions are very similar in the metabolic pathways inside of a cell. Whether you take glycolysis, you take gluconeogenesis, you take TCA cycle or Krebs cycle. In all these cases, the process works very similarly, starting with a substrate, and the substrate is converted to the product by the activity of some enzyme. So that is enzymatic reaction, and this enzymatic reaction can be regulated by three different processes: by the substrate concentration, by product concentration, and by the presence of an allosteric regulator. So if the substrate concentration is high, let's say the substrate can be glucose or acetyl CoA, depending upon the pathway for example glucose is a substrate for glycolysis acetyl coa is a substrate for tca cycle and the product can be pyruvate for glycolysis citrate is also as a further product of glycolysis or the part of the tca cycle and in all these processes as these are catabol uh, catabolic reactions we are producing energy as atp and also we are producing nadh and fadh2 in reduced form as a result of the redox reactions catalyzed by dehydrogenase enzymes so all these enzymatic pathways are regulated in three different ways substrate clearance product inhibition and allosteric regulation substrate clearance is when the substrate concentration is high then substrate is going to positively influence the enzymatic reaction and this is known as substrate clearance model on the other hand if the product concentration is high it's always going to negatively influence the enzymatic reaction we call it product inhibition and finally we have allosteric regulator molecule which can bind to allosteric site of the enzyme and can either positively or negatively regulate the enzyme activity to convert substrate into product all right now we are going to talk about the tca cycle regulation tca cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle tricarboxylic acid cycle so what is the citric acid cycle or krebs cycle regulation or regulation of krebs cycle so for understanding the regulation of krebs cycle you need to know the krebs cycle process in krebs cycle we start with acetyl coa then acetyl coa is associated with oxaloacetate oxaloacetate associated with acetyl coa forms citrate citrate becomes isocitrate isocitrate becomes alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate becomes succinyl coa and from that it will become malate malate becomes oxaloacetate and the whole cycle continues now in this process of tca cycle there are three important steps three unidirectional or irreversible stages of tca cycle and these three irreversible stages are the place where they are being regulated and the regulation of tca cycle is also three kinds one is the substrate clearance so presence of substrate means the substrate will positively influence product inhibition presence of product means it will inhibit the reaction and allosteric regulation presence of some chemical factor or intermediate binds to the enzyme in allosteric site and can inhibit the conversion or accelerate the conversion so the very three stages where the regulation is currently going on in tca cycle is the first here citrate synthase enzyme converting or attaching acetyl coa to oxaloacetate to form citrate second step is the conversion of isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate by isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme and the third one is the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex converting alpha ketoglutarate into succinyl coa these three stages are tightly regulated so just like the first stage citrate synthase stage we know citrate is a product citrate will inhibit acetyl coa will positively influence and as the tca cycle ultimately producing nadh fadh2 and also gtp that means you are producing energy so atp or nadh fadh2 will be inhibiting all these enzymes while amp or adp is going to or nadfad plus are going to positively influence this process so you can see nadh negatively influence succinyl coa which is further downstream product negatively influence citrate a product negatively influence atp we are producing energy negatively influence while adp is a low energetic form will positively influence the citrate synthase isocitrate dehydrogenase regulation is done by again atp will inhibit but adp positively influence presence of calcium ion positively influence isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme it helps in the activity of the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase succinyl coa which is a product inhibits the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex nadh which is also a product inhibits the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex while calcium ion positively influence the whole alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase okay 
these are the three stages of Krebs cycle regulation or TCA cycle regulation. I believe you have a clear idea about this. And if you look at this, citrate synthesis is the step without any redox reaction. But REST2, isocytate dehydrogenase and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex both involve with the redox reactions or oxidation reduction reactions where NADH is being produced. So they are the regulatory sites. So that's all about the regulation of Krebs cycle. I believe you have a clear idea about the TCA cycle regulation now. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.